सीवीसी क्या करता है कनेक्शन बिटवीन टू एडिशन व्हीकल्स विद इन ए ट्रेन सेट इज डन बाय ए कपलर सिस्टम द सीवीसी यूज इन एसी एलएचबी कोचेस आर टाइट लॉक सीवीसी ऑफ एएआर टाइप एच दे कैन बी कपल्ड विथ ए ए आर ई टाइप विच इज फिटेड इन द लोकोमोटिव द सी बी सी कंबाइंस द ड्रॉ एंड बफिंग गियर इन वन इट इज एबल टू ट्रांसमिट बोथ द टेंसाइल एंड द कंप्रेसिव फोर्सेस एज वी ऑल नो इन केस ऑफ एन एक्सीडेंट दिस सी बी सी एस टाइप इज एंटी क्लाइंबिंग due to its special design now our emphasis is to uh, give you the maximum clarity of the s type coupling which is used in our lhb coaches now it is as well as in the locomotive also it is a automatic coupling in straight lines in curvatures also in the transition between straight line and curve objective of our discussion is at the end of this learning unit we are be able to identify the different parts of the coupler able to describe the right procedure of coupling and uncoupling and we will also learn how the balanced draft gear functions before in incorporation of this s type coupler in our railway system indian railway introduced high tensile s type before that uh, e type uh, screw coupling etc were used in our railway ए आर क्या हुआ एसोसिएशन ऑफ द अमेरिकन रेल रोड फॉर लॉन्ग एंड ट्रेन रेक्स फॉर्मेशन इट इज वेरी वेरी यूजफुल बिकॉज इसको कपलिंग हाई वेरी लिमिटेड कैपेसिटी ऑफ हॉलेज ए आर एस टाइप सी बी सी वॉज फर्स्ट टाइम यूज इन ट्वेंटी फोर इंपोर्टेंट एलस्टॉम एल एस बी कोचेज the trains fitted with the these couplers when put into service jerks were observed initially but now due to balanced draft gear this jerk has also been eliminated and our system is jerkless up to a certain extent the tight lock center buffer coupler complete this is these are the four parts of this coupling system this is the coupler body this is shank one part the coupler head and body is this is one part and draft gear third one is supporting device and fourth one is manual uncoupling device so altogether there are four parts of the complete set what are the advantage of this coupling it is automatic in comparison to the screw coupling no manual power is required just to give the cycle in the hook so it is automatic and anti climbing feature in event of derailment even in the case of accident or derailment This is anti-climbing. एक घटना घटी थी इधर असम साइड में कटिहार डिवीजन में कोच पर कोच पर कोच बहुत हेवी कैजुअलिटी हुई थी आफ्टर दैट दिस टाइप ऑफ कपलिंग इज इम्पोर्टेड फॉर अमेरिका एंड दिस इज नाउ इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन एटलीस्ट एवरी राधे रानी शताब्दी कोचेज मेल एक्सप्रेस कोचेज Higher strength, 
how is of longer trends possible transmit both draft and buffing forces chances of unauthorized uncoupling eliminated as there is less jerk in coaches during breaking lesser maintenance is required in comparison to the other initial couplers and chances of interlocking of buffers has been eliminated during impact as there is no chances of interlocking of buffers am i audible sir yes sir yes sir Achha. Uh, you have to give proper attention to me as because my topic is equally important for the officers working in the local shed officer working in the cnw workshop and open line so ars type coupler is the recent development in our indian railway system equipped with anti creep mechanism designed to haul all our haulage of 26 coaches the horn provides anti climbing feature horn adds to the gathering range even in the case of curb it is easily coupled so these are the parts the four major parts tight lock coupler head this is the head and draft gear behind this and supporting device to support the shank before that there were no supporting device and manual uncoupling device the so altogether four parts are used to make the system complete this is the complete system initially in the wagons there was single rod and much and much forces were required for uncoupling the wagon couplers but in this mechanical advantage has been increased by providing this mechanical link is this so just a short pull will open this knuckle this is a coupler body this is the draft gear this is a supporting device and this okay sir these are the parts coupler body the knuckle knuckle thrower lock rotary lock lifter uh, guiding pin backlash compensation device these are the exploded view of the system lock ka design dekhe ab just you view the lock and rotary lifter knuckle connector etc the forces this law the design is such that it operates the knuckle thrower and knuckle thrower throws the knuckle outside so just by giving a pull on the operating handle uh, this lifts up the lock lifts up and knuckle thrower comes into action and it throws the knuckle out the supporting coupler head mounting kaise karte hain this the coupler head is mounted with this step 1 take it on the fixture step 2 central pin to be inserted from the bottom and base plate this is the base plate be assembled from the bottom and screwed This is the anti-climbing pocket, knuckle pin, red red lock, and this is the knuckle. This is the horn type, horn, pocket and horn. Rotary lock lifter. This is lock lifter. This is called shank, and is elastic bearing. This bearing is very important. It gives the life could a life of the shank more and more by destroying itself is for elastic bearing when bearing 
years it has changed and safeguarding this shrine. This is a knuckle. You can just give a knuckle face. This is the knuckle face and this is the body face. When machined portion of the body and the machined face of the knuckle is parallel, then knuckle is closed. This is a closed knuckle and this is an open knuckle. For proper coupling, either of the two knuckle should, either of the two should open. Supporting device, four preloaded compression spring. Preloaded compression spring, coupler head rest on the supporting device. Vertical support device. Preload spring support the coupler. Supporting device allows vertical swing of 5 to 7, that is plus minus 7 degree in the vertical direction and plus minus 17 degree, 17 degree in the horizontal direction. During coupling of the open knuckle will be turned in the coupler position by the shape of the adjacent coupler. A gathering range, horizontal plus minus 110 millimeter and vertically it is 90 millimeter plus minus. Meaning thereby, if it is on the curvature, it is not in a straight line even at the curvature and the transition also, it is easily couplable if it is within the gathering range horizontally or vertically. So this is the beauty of the coupler. Coupling is automatic. For uncoupling, unlock the handle. This is the lock. First of all, you have to unlock the handle, lift it, lift it, because it is inserted in the gap here and rotate clockwise and rotate clockwise. Locking and locking of manual uncoupling device. Yellow strip on the end of the side panel. This is the yellow strip. And use of letter C as suffix to show the condition of the coach that this coach is CBC fitted. Then C is put as a suffix here after the number. Surprisingly, this is Dranto coach. Uh, hybrid coach, sorry, hybrid coach. As because uh, LHV, this is the body of LHV and body of ICF with certain modifications. Duranto was the hybrid generation of first hybrid coach was Duranto coach. Behan Mamta Didi was big by the real minister, then people of Bengal wanted to just travel in the LHB rakes. The first LHB rake was just running between Lucknow and Delhi. They also wanted the rake to be travel from Kolkata to Delhi. For that purpose, our workshop, RCF, was unable to produce such, type, such amount of, such a huge amount of boggy. They said to the MR, we shall make the coaches, but certain alteration is to be made with the ICF boggy and this hybrid coach can fulfill the desire. They all agreed because public has to give the comfort. They don't have any concern with the boggy. 
and the speed was very up to the mark. So this is a hybrid coach. Here, air spring is used as a secondary suspension, and CVC tight lock coupler CVC is fitted over the car body. Restrictor fitted between loco and coach. Suppose the vertical, the locomotive has E-type couplers. In E-type coupler, there is no provision of anti-climbing. Means there is no pocket and arm in the E-type. But in the S-type, there is pocket and arm. So there was every possibility that the knuckle between the loco and the coach may go up. But in the coach, there is no chances of this type of uh, happenings. But invariably, there were ten parting between loco and coaches at many stations. For overcoming that difficulties, uh, this type of local arrangements, restrictors were provided. These restrictions are fitted in the coach knuckle and preventing the uplift of, uh, upside movement of the knuckle of the look. So this, this is called restrictor. Now, if there is a S type coupler in the loco also, this type of connectors are not to be used and not in use many where. But sometimes it is very useful even now. Following points should be checked before coupling. No oil or grease should be applied on the coupler internal parts such as knuckle or lifter. Oil and grease on the coupler internal parts can cause the lock to slide and lead to uncoupling automatically. But it doesn't mean that grease will not be used anywhere. Grease will be used in the draft gear and the, in the cycle. But the lock and the body parts, it is not used. Knuckle and coupler head machine faces should be parallel when knuckle is in closed condition. As we have explained earlier, sir. Coupling procedure. Bring the vehicle near to each other at a slow speed, approximately. 2 to 3 kmph and stop the vehicle approximately 1 to 2 meter distance of each other. This is the GPO, General Procedure Order of Mechanical as well as the Operating Department from issued from RDSO. Check the alignment and position of the coupler centers. Coupler must stand within the gathering range. If required, pull the coupler manually towards each other and make sure that they are in gathering range of the coupler jet. Now push the vehicle together slowly 3 kmph for coupling the two coaches. Check the position of the telltale device from proper coupling. Lock the handle of the manual uncoupling device. Check, check, telltale device ko check karenge. after Pushing the loco to the coach, tilted device should be checked. You see the telltale device, the telltale V groove. The both V grooves should be very, very clear. No ambiguity should be there. So what are the checkpoints? Okay. This is the clear view of the telltale device. For Coupling is for fact, for checking this, we have to check the telltale device should be very clear. First of all, one point is telltale should be clear, vertical lock lifter should be vertical, and locking device should be locked. These are the three conditions. And fourth one, the rivet should be visible. If it is so, if it is clear, if it is vertical, lock lifter is vertical, 
then it will be very, very clear from outside. You can check this. So what are the checkpoints? The following points must be checked to improve, ensure proper carefully. Telltale slot should be clear of rotary lock lever. Rotary lock lifter ribs should be vertical. And locking screw of manual uncoupling device should be locked. These are three points. It should be always memorized and taken into consideration for proper coupling. If the coupling like this, this is ambiguous. First time in the prima facie situation, it resembles that it is properly locked. But after two or three stations, it is the case of ten parting. When we used to fit this uh, initial uh, CVC on the coaches of Bombay, Gorakhpur, Bombay. I was at Gorakhpur and uh, at the station duty. Then in his, it was resembled that it is properly locked. But after two stations, Domingad or Gonda, that may go parting. So there was a just uh, JPO in between the local JPO. कि आगे का पांच क्रोच में ब्रेक लगा होना चाहिए और ड्राइवर को पूरे फोर्स के साथ पुश करना चाहिए कट की आवाज आनी चाहिए देन इट विल बी चेक्ड फॉर प्रॉपर कपलिंग सो टेलटेल स्लॉट शुड बी क्लियर रोटरी लॉक लिफ्ट शुड बी वर्टिकल एंड लॉकिंग डिवाइस शुड बी लॉक्ड दे आर द थ्री कंडीशन एंड दिस this was painted red so that it can be very, very clearly visible from outside by the TXR stars. So even even in the night, this was a very, very uh, marking point. If this uh, screw is visible, then all the three conditions is fulfilled. It is locked or not, it is a different thing, but Tilted slot will be clear. If tilted slot is clear, then only it is visible. If rotary lock lifter is vertical, then only it is visible. So, if this is visible, then locking is perfect. This is not properly visible. This is properly visible. All round. Make sure that the handle of the manual uncoupling device is locked after coupling. After coupling, reverse the power to pull the vehicles apart. This is a typical pull test to reconfirm the positive coupling. If there were some gap in the knuckles, then we used to give it, fulfill it, fill it with the L type sleeves, 5, 10, 15, 20 millimeters intervals, this L type sleeves were made and kept in the 10 passing, and this gap was filled. And when there was a change of loco, then at that particular station, the telegramming staff were accordingly advised. All the our Scotting uh, staff were advised just to collect the L-type sleeves. So these were the proper local adjustments, arrangements. For coupling, when both knuckles are in open condition, then it is couplable. When one knuckle is open and other is closed, then also it is couplable. But at some times, there is a uh, misunderstanding between the loco and the carriage staff. All are for the coupling first coach with locomotive, SLR, CBC knuckle shall be in closed position as advised in para 4 of the section A of the JPO from RDSO. For coach to coach coupling, coupler head of one of the coach shall be preferably in closed condition. But for the loco, 
it was advised that the coach coupling should be closed and loco coupling should be open but when needed both the coupling should be open now we shall discuss about the draft gear so this is the pocket in which center seal in which this draft gear is kept the front is stopper rear is stopper and buff plate end plate and it been there is a compressed coil spring draft gear are of many types single pack twin pack dialer type balanced type we shall discuss these draft gear one by one sir am audible sir ha wala okay sir thank you sir yes sir okay bahut acha so is your good presence ye topic acha ho raha hai what are the causes of jerks on buff mode front follower leaves the front stopper front follower in the buff mode front follower leaves the front stopper a gap ban jata tha in the draw mode rear follower leaves the rear stopper followers always hit stopper on load reversal This is the cause of jerk. Preload causes sudden reversal of forces. Effect of gap between coupler body and the knuckle. These are the region of jerk, and wear of the knuckles is the main cause of the jerk. So these are the points. What are the region for jerk? Longitudinal jerks in mainline coaches equipped with CVC have been a major concern since introduction of the CVC. Several measures were taken into the past to reduce the longitudinal jerks, but they resulted in minor improvements only. So, draft gear like the single pack draft gears, draft gear with floating plate type. This is the floating plate type draft gear. This plate is floating between two springs. One spring is here, one spring is here. Here is only one spring. Single pack draft gear. In this type of draft gear, same set of draft pad is used in buff as well as in the draw mode. In dynamic condition. the front follower leaves the front stopper during buff and the rear follower leaves the rear stopper during draw mode and hits them on load reversal that is very very clear from this in the buff mode front follower leaves the front stopper it dab jata hai and in the draw mode Rear stoppers. There is a gap here, and on the load reverser, this gap is fulfilled by the preload and hitting watch observed. Single type, single coil spring was used in the draw gear. preload in the draft gear space for draft gear is limited draft pack designed for maximum tractive and braking forces draft pack load deflection characteristics are fixed itna load pe itna gap itna deflection hona chahiye because stiffness is fixed hence us preload dena ek anivarya thi it was the necessity dena hi tha force and displacement car single pack draft gear ka <coughs> here we can see force and 
if there is a displacement, zero displacement at the zero zero, there is a preload in the buff mode as well as in the draw mode. There was a preload and there was a force, residual forces over here. And due to load reversal, this much amount of gap was to be fulfilled. So a jerk was experienced over here. इसी को मिटाने के लिए डिजाइनर ने ऐसा सोचा कि ये पॉइंट जीरो से जीरो जीरो से पास हो जाए देर शुड बी नो एनी फोर्स रिसिडल फोर्सेस फ्रॉम द स्प्रिंग लेफ्ट ओवर इसके लिए सतत प्रयास किए गए <laughs> उस प्रयास में पहला प्रयास ये था फ्लोटिंग प्लेट और ट्विन पैक ड्राफ्ट पियर ये बनाया गया फ्लोटिंग प्लेट और ट्विन पैक ड्राफ्ट गियर है सिमिलर क्वेश्चनिंग अरेंजमेंट इन फ्लोटिंग प्लेस और ट्विन पैक ड्राफ्ट गियर द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ रियर फॉल ओवर प्लेट स्ट्राइकिंग द रेल स्टॉपर हैज बिन एड्रेस बाय डिवाइडिंग द ड्राफ्ट पायर्स इंटू टू पार्ट by a floating plate and using this floating plate for the purpose of transmitting force in drop mode in drop mode only draft path between floating plates and the front follower is compressed whereas in buff mode all the draft gears are used to take buff load it has zero preload in the draw mode in the draw mode mein aap dekhe clear yahan se hmm this type of this type of the draw mode zero preload in the buff mode this was compression action here the tensile mein stroke 58 mm एंड बफ में 80 मिलीमीटर हाउ इन द बफ मोड दिस टाइप ऑफ ड्राफ्ट गियर बिहेव्स इन ए वे सिमिलर टू सिंगल पैक बफ में बट इन द ड्रा मोड इन डायनेमिक कंडीशन फ्रंट फॉलोवर लिव्स द फ्रंट स्टॉपर एंड हिट्स इट ऑन द लोड रिवर्सल आल्सो प्रीलोड इन द बफ मोड एडवर्सली अफेक्ट्स द लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड डायनेमिक्स ऑफ द ट्रेन इससे क्लियर होगा आपको द टू इम्पैक्ट बफ मोड में कुछ रह गया प्रीलोड बट इन द ड्रॉ मोड देर इज नो प्रीलोड सो नो हिटिंग आफ्टर रोड रिवर्स ड्रॉ मोड में जर्क नहीं होते बट बफ मोड में देर वाज ए जर्क ड्रॉ मोड में आई मीन ड्राइंग only this much was and only this much was just compressive action and this was just elongated no gap was over here but in the buff mode this was compressed so there was a jerk situation there was a preload over here the specification of cvc does not specify the type of draft gear suppliers are free to supply any type of draft gear such as single pack twin pack floating plate or any other design on the basis of a systematic study of the design of the cvc a new specification of cvc has been made in which a balanced type draft gear has been specified for the supplier if you are supplying the cvc then you have to supply the balanced type of draft gear this was a uh, common specification for the all suppliers from rds coupled with balanced draft this is the balanced draft This is a balanced draft gear supporting device. 
manual uncoupling device, AAR tight S type coupler head having elastic bearing at pivot end. Here. So, this is the complete figure in which a separate, separate uh, pads are used in the draw as well as in the buff mode. Alag alag spring ki bevastha ki gai. Balance type draft gear overcomes all the problems mentioned in the above sections. Reload ka problem, jerk ka problem. The draft gear is fixed between the front and the rear stopper and no relative movement between the draft gear frames and these stoppers is possible. There is no situation of front follower leaving the front stopper, rear follower leaving the rear stopper and hitting them on the load reversal. This type of situation was totally eliminated and new design was developed that is called BDG, balance type draft gear. Apart from this, the following diagram of the conceptual draft gear characteristics shows that there is no abrupt change in the force or load reversal. Force travel curves are regular and they are not vertically separated at neutral positions. It facilitates smooth load. in the balance type draft gear. Clear hai yaha tak sir. Balance type draft gear. Aur thora sa hai. BDG major components stack of heavy duty elastomeric pairs Four in compression and three in tensile modes. Four in compression. Four compression with the buff mode with four and three in tensile modes. When you draw mode, mein aata hai, ke ye dabta hai, this is three. And when in the buffing mode, then it is three. So it gap. Nahi banta. PS6 boosts for a smooth sliding of intermediate plates and pads over main bolt. A main bolt ke upar ye barta hai. Boosts pe laga hua. Fabricated front fork and edge housing. This is the edge housing. Blue type is the edge housing. Aboli class. Hmm. Main bolt high toughness forged. Adjustable wedges to tighten. This is the wedge. Adjustable wedges to tighten the BDGS assembly with the coach and the frame. The fixed plate, a part of H housing, blue color. This is the fixed plate, which is tight fitted with coach and the frame between front and rear stopper with the help of the special design wedge key. This is the wedge key. Ye fix ho jata hai under frame. Or clear. The edge housing is fixed under the, in the pocket. And isko niche se ghumate jate hai, ghumate jate hai wedge ki ko. Or ye phailda jata hai, or tight hote jata hai. Ab ye pura under frame ho gaya. This becomes the under frame. And when in the draw mode, this will be compressed, three springs will be compressed and in the buff mode, the four pads will be compressed and volume is constant. So there is no gap, so no jerk at all. Overcomes BDG, overcomes above the problem, absorbs energy in draw and buff modes, fixed draft gear, no gap. Overcomes heating on load reversal. 
balanced of gear, elastomeric pads on either side. Separate elastomeric pads for draw and buff mode. Balanced draft gear, wedge alignment, the gear. This is the wedge arrangement. Isko niche se gumate jate hai. Aur ye tight hoda jata hai. Upper under frame mein fit ho jata hai. Which working of bed ji ek simple dikhane ke liye front fork moves forward compressing rear pad the all CRS uh, CRSC meeting we thi bade bade professor sir maha gaye the kolkata mein unhone ise banaya tha for easy understanding raman sir of the usme naya naya ye chala bhi tha BDG कैसे काम करता है? For that purpose, तो इससे हम लोग बहुत मोहब्बत है तो कुछ नहीं, but for new men, for the JE, for the new learners, it is very important. So front fork moves forward, compressing the rear pads. दब गया, rear pad दब गया. Return to initial position slowly, dissipating energy. अब energy dissipate कर दिया. Again, buff mode में front fork moves backward, compressing the front pads and returns to neutral position slowly, dissipating energy. Same time. तो कैसे काम करता है? Balance draft gear sub assemblies. Yoke connects the shank with the BDG via main pin. Yoke ये है. Yoke and here is the shank. Yoke connects the BDG with the shank. Edge housing connected with front fork via main mode. Now, edge housing, this is the blue type, edge type housing. This is the main bolt. Elastomeric pads bolted between front fork and edge housing. Front fork or edge housing may bolted. Elastomeric pads release energy slowly for right comfort. Pads are more and more energy absorbing characteristic they have. It releases energy and absorbs energy and gives comfort to the passengers. Elastomeric pads mounted on main bolt. Where is the main bolt? This is the main bolt. This is the central pin which connects the Shank and the draw gear. This is the main bolt which is connected over here and at the last. Rear and front carrier plates support the black PDG vertically. Which hold edge housing tightly in the under frame pocket. Now, this is not because this एक अंडर फ्रेम बन जाता है एच हाउस तो ड्रॉ मोड में केवल ये दबता है और बफ मोड में ये नहीं दबता ये दबता है एक दबता है एक फ्री रहता है गैप बनता नहीं है एटलिस्ट तो जर्क नहीं होता है अब कंपैरिजन से थोड़ा कुछ और अच्छा लगेगा Conventional draft gear and balanced draft gear, what are the comparisons? Energy of Johnson 45 kJ in dynamic testing as per the RDS specification. Energy of Johnson 45 kJ. Energy absorption 45 kilos in dynamic testing as per RDS. So, same by same, hai, but now this has been ghatta diya gaya, 35 kar diya gaya, aaj ke date mein. Because energy 45 was not bahut jada tha, 35 hi appropriate hai. Matlab ki is kafi hai. 35 kilo joule hi kafi hai. So, now abhi is mein aur changes jaya hai. It has been reduced to 35 kg only. 
single pack uh, pack of 10 numbers elastomeric pads used in the buff and tensile loading two separate packs uh, packs elastomeric pad four pad in buff and three pads in tension life is average due to single pack takes load in both buffing and tensile mode enhanced fatigue life due to separate packs used for buff and tensile load तो डाफियर का लाइफ ज्यादा इसमें है बीडीजी में जग्स एक्सपीरियंस इन लंगशुनल ट्रेन डायनामिक्स जग्स टोटली इलिमिनेटेड इन द लंगशुनल ट्रेन डायनामिक्स बाय एनहांसिंग द डिजाइन इसको ड्राइंग नंबर इतना फॉर ड्राफ्ट गियर इसको ड्राइंग नंबर इतना फॉर बैलेंस ड्राफ्ट गियर अलग-अलग नंबर है एसके डीजी 115 एसके 1550 ड्राफ्ट गियर साइज लेंथ 510 विड्थ 345 हाइट 275 तो हाइट तो सेम रह गया यहां भी लेंथ भी सेम रह गया और ड्राफ्ट गियर लेंथ विड्थ एंड हाइट इज सूटेबल टू फिट इन कोच एंड फ्रेम तो सब चीज सेम रह गया केवल सिंगल पैक की जगह अलग-अलग पैड्स लगाए एक कंप्रेशन के लिए बफ मोड के लिए एक टेंसाइल लोड के लिए ड्रॉप मोड के लिए तो डिजाइन मोर और लेस सेम है केवल अलग अलग सेपरेट सेपरेट स्प्रिंग पैड्स हैं दिस इज द डिफरेंस फॉलोइंग आर द सब्जेक्टिव असेसमेंट ऑफ द रिलेटिव परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ ड्राफ्ट गियर्स मैं समझता हूं एक साथ पूरा कर दूं नो नीड ऑफ ब्रेक एज विकास आपका दिमाग ज्यादा खर्चा हुआ नहीं है तो इट विल बी बेटर टू जस्ट कंप्लीट दिस सेशन इन वन फ्लैब ओनली सो जल्दी से खत्म कर देंगे तो आपको भी अच्छा लगेगा फिर टुमारो नई एनर्जी के साथ फिर से 9:30 में हम लोग ज्वाइन करेंगे तो दिस आर द सिंबॉलिक सिंगल पैक ड्राफ्ट गियर पिन पैक ड्राफ्ट गियर एंड बैलेंस ड्राफ्ट गियर एनर्जी स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी इन द ड्राम मोड नंबर ऑफ स्टार्स मींस बेटर एट्रीब्यूट्स अब देखिए सिंगल पैक में क्या है ना एनर्जी स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी ड्राम मोड में बहुत अच्छा है एनर्जी स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी इन द बफ मोड भी अच्छा है पर लंगशुनल ट्रेन डायनामिक्स जर्क फ्री का सिचुएशन एक इस स्टार को अगर 25 माने 25 50 100 इस तरह से आप एक कंपैरेटिव स्टडी यू कैन टेक इनटू कंसीडरेशन इन माइंड आपके दिमाग में बैठ जाएगा सिंगल पैक पिन पैक और बैलेंस ड्राफ्ट गियर these are very very important for conceptual understanding of the phenomenon occurring inside the drug here so it needs no elaboration all engineers are satisfied perhaps kya sir aage badhe ha aapka permission chahiye am i audible sir हाँ कोई नहीं बोल रहे हैं मैं आड़ी बोल आड़ी बोल सर आड़ी बोल आड़ी बोल सर आड़ी बोल सर ओके सर सर तो स्टेबलाइजिंग लिंक इन केस यूज विद द बैलेंस टाइप ड्राफ्ट गियर रिक्रेट्स ए रिवर्स सिचुएशन इन ड्राफ्ट गियर एज इफेक्टिव जो प्रीमोड बर्सलाइजिंग लिंक हेल्पिंग और प्रीमोड एक फिगर है इसी की बात कर रहा है ये फिगर है बैकलेस कंपनसेसिंग डिवाइस टेपर पंच से उसमें ये इस तरह से लगाते हैं ये देखिए सेंटर पिन जब लगाते हैं योग में और ड्राफ्ट गियर में तो इसको ये जो पिन लगाते हैं इट इज स्प्रिंग लोडेड 
so there should be no any jerk in between the shank and the drop gear so backlash compensation agar wear hota jayega ye spring badhta jayega and there is no rattling no wear tear no relative motion between the two matting surfaces so we are talking about all these things a stabilizing link in case used with a balanced type drop gear creates a reverse situation in which drop gear has effectively zero preload but the stabilizing link has preload of 25 kN dete the new specification specify linking arrangement between coupler and drop gear to overcome this problem is the elastic bearing described in the specification meets the functional requirement of the articulation far from its role of providing articulation to the coupler head it helps in blocking transmission of vibration and noise to the coach body it helps in blocking the transmission of vibration so is relation ka bahut use hai awaaz nahi hoti sound ko kam karta hai wear tear kam karta hai back class mein kya wear hone par bhi ye usko tight rakhta hai and uh, advantage of this design aims at eliminating jerk bg ka kya advantage in the new design dropped gear jerk and hammer noise problem has been eliminated on the other hand n force has in balance in the tensile as well as in the compression mode enhanced life of equipment by using dural gmbh heavy duty elastomeric pads balanced dropped gear flexible connections with coupler shank is a proper one of the one and ease of horizontal vertical movement of the coupler head ye sabhi isme load ho jayenge sir at any time if you are the member of the irmi institution then every time you can just uh, take this uh, powerpoint and make use of that so no matter to worry about here ki the teacher is very fast and uh, his uh, communication Uh, words are not up to the mark, and uh, there is a gap. So don't bother for that, sir. Everything is written in the English, and you can use this PPT every time. Okay, sir. Balanced draft gear, flexible connection with coupler shank is a problem. One polyacetyl bushes used to avoid wear of main bolt from metallic separator plates. in bdg separate packs of heavy duty elastomeric pads have been used for tension and compression which will enhance the life of equipment up to the double of conventional draft gear do guna fayda bdg four pad stack is equal to the 10 pads of the conventional one thus ki jahan 10 lagta hai tumhara char se kaam chal jata hai So this is the beauty of the balanced draft gear. Now we shall just discuss what are the checkpoints. हम कैसे इन gaps को इन condemning limits को कैसे ascertain करें? What are the measuring tools? तो इसके लिए दो चार पांच tools हैं and then after some hmm, manual में ही लिखा हुआ है what are the routine overhauling and what are the um, activities in the schedules for sab so aadhe ghanta ya 20 minute tak hai sara sar agar hum bardash kar lenge to pura ho jayega the jaw gap test we check the contour of the coupler head assembly using condemning limit gauge This is the condemning limit gauge, jaw gap test. This gauge must not pass. Actually, there are three types of one, two, three. This type of gauge is. That so means this gauge must not pass in between the coupler body and the knuckle. So when the knuckle is closed. this gap is inserted from the upper side and this must not pass this is the check for perfect profile new profile of the cvc assembly
condemning limit gauge. Dusra hai contour maintenance gauge. Contour maintenance gauge ye hai. This is the contour maintenance gauge. Gauge must pass through contour with the knuckle fully closed and locked. This gauge must pass, but limit gauge must not pass. So, when it passed, it means body is gone, or nose ka profile is gone, or nose is elongated, ho gaya, ya ya pa nose is more weird tier. Ho gaya. So, condemning limit gauge should not pass, but the profile contour gauge pass hona chahi. Because it checks the contour of the knuckle using the contour gauge. Check the knuckle while passing the gauge. Pura hilaya jata hai. Usko pass ho jana chahi. This is to ensure the slack in the assembly is included in the profile. If gauge does not pass, it means knuckle and coupler head must be checked and replace it or lock to be modified per APTA standards, American Public Transportation Association. APTA standards. This must pass. Knuckle, nose, wear and stretch limit gauge. Knuckle nose wear. D must not touch or clear with A, B, C seated. A, here is the point A, here is B, and here is the C. If A, B, C is seated, D must not touch. What does it mean? If this is worn out, and if this knuckle is uh, elongated, or its profile is bad, or it is long, then it will touch it. If it is touching here, it means it should not touch. So 6.5 maximum wear stretch limit. If 6.5 mm wear out, then only this can touch. Otherwise, they should not touch. So, knuckle nose wear ka kya standard hai? Wear must not more than 6.5 millimeter. This is the 6.5 millimeter. If it is not worn out, then it should not touch over here at the deep points. Vertical height, aligning wing pocket and guard arm gauge, ya go gauge. Ek hi gauge mein, arm or pocket ke liye, ek gauge aisa banaya, ki is mein arm mein insert ho jaya. Go gauge, must pass. And by just using this gauge like this, it must insert inside the arm. So, if it goes inside the go gauge, it means it is perfect. It is in the alignment. It is not worn out. Pocket is not extended, expanded. The go gauge. Dutra hoga, no go gauge. This must not pass in the arm and this must not pass in the arm and pocket. Nose and this is called nose or arm and this is called pocket. Arm and pockets are inserted in each other, male, female we cut. So they are inserted and they there is a locked 
there is no chances of climbing the coach. तो पांच तरह के पांच गेज की बात हमने किया अभी कंडेमिंग लिमिट गेज फाइल गेज नकल नोज वियर गेज गो गेज एंड नो गो गेज इसके अलावे बहुत सारे गेजेज हैं बफर प्रोजेक्शन गेज बफर हाइट गेज यू आर नो अबाउट दो गेजेस so a maintenance of the coupler head monthly quarterly annually and 6 to 8 years uh overall in kya kya karte hain check tell 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 of the couplers visual check for external damage condition of wheel plate on the shank replace wheel plate if necessary रिपीट दे चेक क्वार्टरली में तीन महीने पे कोट बेयर स्टील एरियाज ऑफ कपलर हेड बॉडी एंड नकल विथ मॉली कोट डी थ्री डी थ्री ट्वेंटी वन आर ड्राई स्प्रे करते हैं मॉली कोट का ड्राई स्प्रे करते हैं डोंट स्प्रे ऑन द नकल लॉकिंग सर्फेस एंड इंटरनल पार्ट ऑफ लाइक लॉक एक्सेट्रा हम कहाँ पे करते हैं कपलर हेड बॉडी एंड एनुअली चेक गैप बिटवीन कपलर हेड एंड नकल जॉ गैप गेज लोगो गेज इफ वी आर आउट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल रिप्लेस द नकल एक्सेट्रा ओवर हॉल कपलर हेड चेक पार्ट ऑफ वी आर आउट रिप्लेस इफ ने तो कपलर हेड का इतने ही चेक करते हैं मंथली क्वार्टरली एनुअली देन आफ्टर मेंटेनेंस ऑफ ड्राफ्ट गियर अंदर में पीछे का पोर्सन मंथली क्वार्टरली एनुअली चेक फॉर लूज बोल्ट सेक्शनल डैमेज रिपीट एव चेक्स चेक ड्राफ्ट गियर सीटिंग इन द पॉकेट एग्जामिन कंडीशन ऑफ द बफ प्लेट अप्लाई ग्रीस इफ ने अब देखिए यहाँ लिख दिया अप्लाई ग्रीस इफ ने वहां लिखा कपलर बॉडी में डोंट अप्लाई ग्रीस एट एनी कॉस्ट एनुअली रिपीट द चेक्स रिपीट द एव चेक चेक द प्रीलोड वैल्यू रिप्लेस स्प्रिंग कॉलम इफ ने मेंटेनेंस ड्राफ्ट गियर ये सभी एल एच बी मैनुअल से लिए गए हैं सपोर्टिंग डिवाइस Visual check for external damage, according device. Check height 187.5 millimeter both side near the bolts. Supporting device, कितना height होना चाहिए 187.5. Tighten the M16 nut to seat set specified height. Apply grease. यहाँ भी कहता है apply grease. on wear plate check condition of the wear plate replace wear plate if necessary quarterly repeat the above check repeat the above check check compression spring for loss of free load to so main yahi hai uska free height height maintain ho uska free load maintain ho wear portion up to the mark ho एंड चौथा जो बचा मैनुअल अनकपलिंग डिवाइस विजुअल चेक फॉर एक्सटर्नल डैमेज लूज बोल्ट अप्लाई ग्री यहाँ भी कहता अप्लाई ग्रीस ऑल पार्ट एक्सेप्ट द बॉडी पार्ट वी हैव टू अप्लाई द ग्रीस फॉर प्रॉपर फंक्शनिंग अप्लाई ग्रीस ऑन स्लाइड एंड स्लाइड रॉड्स अब एक नया है एक चिट्ठी आई है कि पार्टिंग हो रही है क्या करें उसके लिए डेलर कपलर के लिए लॉक पिन अरेंजमेंट एड पर कपलर 
सत्ताईस सौ पचास रुपये का इस तरह से डायरेक्टर कह रहे आइडिया छोड़ दिया कि क्या करना है वॉट वी हैव टू डू इन द ओपन लाइन ओपन लाइन में लगता है एज ए सेफ्टी मेजर टू रिमूव एनी रिस्क ऑफ एन अनएक्सपेक्टेड अनकपलिंग ऑफ द डेंडर टाइट लॉक कपलर ड्यूरिंग रनिंग कंडीशन ड्यू टू अन इंटेंडेड मोमेंट ऑफ द अनकपलिंग बार फॉलोइंग डिजाइन इम्प्रूवमेंट हैज बिन डन लॉक पिन एल सेफ्ट का रॉड रहता है इंसर्टेड ऑन द स्लॉट ऑफ द रोटेटिंग असेंबली बाय प्रोवाइडिंग होल्स ऑन द कपलर बर्डी कपलर बर्डी में होल कर देंगे लॉक पिन अटैच विद स्टील केबल इन ऑर्डर टू हैंग ड्यूरिंग अनकपलिंग द कपलर इन द डिपो स्टेशन वहां पे लगाएंगे तो सेफ्टी लॉक पिन लगाएंगे इस तरह का और उसमें क्वार्टर लगाएंगे और स्टील सपोर्ट केबल लगा देंगे और स्प्रिंग पिन शॉर्ट बनाएंगे और स्प्रिंग पिन लॉन्ग बना करके इसको सेट कर देंगे इससे एडवांटेज क्या होगा एडिशनल सेफ्टी ऑन एक्सीडेंटली अनकपलिंग ऑफ कपलर ड्यूरिंग ट्रेन रनिंग अनकपलिंग हैंडल कुड नॉट गेट रोटेटेड ड्यूरिंग ट्रेन रनिंग कंडीशन इवन इफ द स्टॉपर पिन ऑन द हैंडल इज नॉट प्रोपरली सिक्योर्ड कभी खुलेगा नहीं safety lock pin would not get slip down during trend running condition because of quarter pin and spring pin during uncoupling of the coupler and depot safety lock pin can be easily removed and hang with the steel cable ultimately itna padhne ka hai aap log to roz aap log alteration aur aisa aisa karte rehte hain apne depot mein it is better to just give you the final picture फाइनल पिक्चर ये है कि यहाँ एक छेद करेंगे देखिए छेद के लिए एक मशीन लिया जर्मन वैज्ञानिक ने स्टाफ है और वहाँ एक छेद करेंगे और उस छेद में अलग से ये छेद कर दिए और उस छेद में एल टाइप हमने लगा दिया एल टाइप छेद करके और इसमें एल टाइप ये बॉडी में छेद किया और एल टाइप स्लीव लगा दिया उसमें क्वार्टर लगा दिया और बाद में क्वार्टर निकल गया और ये स्लीव आउट हो गया तो नीचे चला जाएगा तो फॉर दिस सेफ्टी ए वायर रोप इज कनेक्टेड फ्रॉम द दियर पिन से भी यहाँ जोड़ दिया तो ये टोटल अरेंजमेंट है अब इसको कैसे कैसे करना है स्टेप बाय स्टेप हमें समझ में आ रहा है इसकी व्याख्या सार्थक नहीं होगी क्योंकि अब इसमें छेद करना है इसको इंसर्ट करना है छेद करके इंसर्ट कर दिया लॉक लगा दिया इसमें छेद कर दिया इंसर्ट कर दिया लॉक लगा दिया यहाँ छेद कर दिया कॉटर में और इसको अंदर वायर रूप से जोड़ दिया तो नया डेवलपमेंट है नया नया 2020 की चिट्ठी है और सबको एडवाइस किया गया है कि ओपन लाइन में यू कैन डू दिस और इसको करने के पश्चात आप उसको पैसा ले सकते हैं और उसको जो कंपनी सप्लायर है उससे आप इतना चार्ज कर सकते हैं तो ये बाईस दस दो की आर की लेटेस्ट चिट्ठी है What are the new development in our coupling system? In this way, uh, our topic coupling in the LHB system has been at the verge of completion. If you have any questions, sir, Delner coupler Sweden, single piece coupler. no connection between draft gear and the coupler shank no transis transversal horizontal pivoting moment no slack generation due to draft gear action tight tolerance to acha coupler hai latest coupler hai aur lekin ab to lhv mein keval aar tight lock cvc chal raha hai With balanced draft gear, this is the latest idea.
and we have to go with the latest design on this. If you have any question regarding this, then most welcome. Otherwise, I will just complete it uh, before time. As because I was a little bit fast and hasty. And it is up to you that you have just heard me very patiently and you are not questioning at all. Yeah, what does it mean? Nothing can be said with certainty, but I think nothing left in this. And uh, this was the first day tomorrow. Uh, special guests, special professors will give you the special topics and you will be very, very advantageous position from tomorrow's session. Today's lecture was engaged in the uh, IRMI registration and WebEx preparation and uh, just making accomplishment with each other's. Anyway, what you have acquired now, this is immaterial. But from tomorrow, it will be certainly uplift your conditions and knowledge base. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks, sir.